Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Lumber Tycoon 2 just got a major update replacing the whitelist and blacklist settings with a new tab simply called settings. This new tab includes a ton of information that I'm going to go over all in this video. So make sure you guys stick around and see what the new update has to offer. First off, there's this business from anyone setting and this is basically just a server wide blacklist. You can unblacklist people specifically by going into the player settings and clicking on visit property. There's also an all button that turns everything on and everything off. Going into the permissions, first up we have play structures. This simply allows a player to well play structures. There's also a move structures which allows players to only move structures that have already been placed on someone's base. Next up we've got interact with objects. This basically allows the player to interact with things like loose items, buttons, etc. Destroy objects finally allows whitelisted players to destroy things such as loose items and blueprints. Remember to only give this feature to people who you really trust. Next up is grab objects. This allows the player to well grab objects. I don't really know what I'm meant to explain here. The sit in seat permission allows the player to sit in seats. If they do not have this permission, they will be ejected from the seat like in a car. Speaking of cars, there's also a drive vehicles permission which allows the player to drive around your vehicles. Last but certainly not least is save items to base, and this permission simply allows your items to be saved to other people's bases. This can be super useful for trading, as now you can simply make items safe to other people's bases without having to completely whitelist them. Anyways, what do you guys think about this new feature? Do you think whitelist and blacklist should stay? Do you think there should be even more options? Comment down below what you guys think. Anyways, this is going to be it for me. Thanks for watching to the end, and goodbye.